Communities across Colorado have been trying to come up with ways to crack down on street racing. Even if you haven't seen it, there's a good chance you've heard it happening. Master Trooper Gary Cutler with the Colorado State Patrol joins us right now. Gary, good morning. Good morning. Glad to be here today. Thank you for being with us. Would you say that street racing is a growing problem here in our state? We have had uh, a lot of street racing in the, the past few years, and it seems to get maybe not as much more, but we're getting larger groups that are doing it. And so people are getting caught up in this throughout the state, and it's creating quite a, an issue for us uh, really everywhere. Yeah, you know what? A couple of weeks ago, just out front of the station, there was street racing and a crash right out here. So I've definitely heard it and seen it. What's your advice for anyone that's stuck between cars that are racing or maybe you see them coming up behind you? So it really comes back to being that defensive driver, always watching about what's going on. So if you see them coming up behind you, whether you're in a uh, on an interstate or you're in a road that's just in the town, uh, see if you can move out of the way. Um, this is not a time to be trying to confront them or do anything that might agitate them. Uh, they go off of mob mentality because there's so many of them, they, they think they can get away with a lot more stuff. And so your biggest thing is to make sure that you're staying safe and anybody in your vehicle. So if you do see them, call 911, uh, stay in the vehicle, don't confront them, don't try to push through them. Gary, is there a time of day that you're seeing more street racing, like morning, afternoon, nighttime? Usually you'll see it mostly on the weekends in the evening, but uh, it doesn't mean you're not going to see it during the day. Um, even in my personal vehicle, I've had street racers come by. Uh, it may not be a, a large group like you see it on the weekends and the evenings, but you may have three, four or five of them that are racing throughout traffic. So you just got to be careful of that, especially if you're making turns or anything. See if you can get off the road uh, and just make sure that you're staying away from them. When you call us, we'll try and get there and see what we can do to, to alleviate the issue. Okay, and so do you feel like street racing has gotten more prevalent during the pandemic? We've had it pretty steady across for the last two years. Um, you know, I do think we had individuals that were going faster back then because there wasn't as much traffic, but it seems like that people have kept certain habits up since we've come back uh, from being completely isolated. And some of those things are still uh, out in the road and they're becoming a little more brazen all the time. So I think you see more of it now during the day than we did prior to the pandemic. And that's what a lot of people are running into now. Very interesting. Well, thank you for those tips and thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you. You know that it's